And we're back, and I'm going to be showing you, or going over, uh, low frequency oscillators, or LFOs, uh, and frequency modulation, not frequency modulation, like everything about it, just a basic, you know, what it means. Um, and a, an LFO does not produce sound, but it is an oscillator, so I should probably mention it. Um, so an LFO is uh, an oscillator that... Uh, only acts at a low frequency. Uh, they're very, very slow. Very, very slow oscillators. Less, well, they go below the audible range. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, that means that they can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, and I'm going to show you right now. Um, an LFO is a simple cycle, just like a sine, but you can't hear it. So I have a sine wave right here. That is a sine wave. Um, hopefully you know that by now. Uh, and I've matched our first LFO, LFO, low frequency oscillator, uh, to oscillator one, the pitch of oscillator one. All right. So I'm going to bump that up. Wait. Oops. Wrong one. Sorry. Oscillator one, our LFO one going to oscillator one's pitch. See it moving? So it's 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 modulating the pitch of our sine wave here, and we can see that. And it's doing it at a rate of 0.6 hertz. So we'll go uh, one hertz. So it's one cycle a second, and you can kind of you can kind of imagine what that will sound like. It's one cycle per second. What does that mean? I don't know. It just sounds cool. And that is your LFO. So you can you can modulate the pitch of your simple the rudimentary things we made previously, and um, we can add a bit of vibrato, like a guitar string or uh, some sort of accent, to make the the synth more, you know, more complex sounding to alter the timbre to make it sound. Uh, Neato, um, but that's a different scope that's in the other tutorial. So, how does this relate to FM or frequency modulation? So, frequency modulation is an LFO that goes above or goes into the audible range, and this very well does. It goes past 20. This is just an example. So, if you you know you hear modern uh, music, it modulates uh, the pitch. Uh, drastically uh, and you create some upper harmonics because the LFO is working really fast. So I'll show you what that sounds like now. So you can still distinguish that. It's at 9 hertz. So 9 cycles a second. I can't do it. You should try. Let me know how you do. So you can kind of hear it. Now it becomes indistinguishable when it gets into the past 20 hertz around there so we'll bump it up so now it's at 100 uh, 100 cycles a second and now you have frequency modulation so what does that do well that creates some very interesting uh, timbres to your sound, uh, even from like a simple uh, sine wave, you're creating a lot of variation, uh, and you're creating kind of weird sounds. Uh, this is something that you can't really get uh, just by combining um, our primitive oscillators. Uh, I can change to a saw. imagine that sounds a little intense but you can create you know with like a proper uh, FM synth like FM7 or you know whatever insert synth here you can create some very neat kind of 
um, uh, basically oscillator shapes out of modulating the frequency. Uh, and that is uh, an introduction to FM synthesis um, using an oscillator affecting another oscillator, which is very weird. But it's still an oscillator, and I felt I should mention it. All right. Hope you learned stuff.